Good morning and welcome back to Life Daily with Dawn. We're continuing our All Systems Go video series and we are taking a look at the eight C systems. The C systems are, is the final of the system sets and today we're looking at the interconnectivity map system to connect to your essential truth. These are momentum action pathways to come together um, and to connect within first to the hope of humanity so that you and we might begin again and weave a world of wonder. What more perfect time for this than the time we are living in right now? It is so important, I think. And so let's take a look at the eight momentum action pathways that comprise the interconnectivity map system. The first is so important and uh, it took me a long time to embrace this one, but when I did, everything shifted in my life, everything. So the first momentum action pathway of the interconnectivity map system is to become aware of, to trace back an action you might take and to become aware of what is it that prompts in you the desire to avoid or deny another person or situation, or it could be anything really, uh, experience. So you have to consider what is this desire or this perceived need or this threat that I am perceiving uh, the moment before I take some action to uh, correct another, to judge another, to condemn another, or to wallow in despair about a situation. But essentially you're removing yourself or seeking to remove another um, person or situation from your field of experience. And life is about allowing and honoring and moving forward with grace. And to practice that love and peace and to experience the joy that we all want to experience, we need to take a look at where we are blocking interconnection or denying it or um, otherwise fearing it. So what is it within you that is prompting you to uh, avoid, uh, so run away or hide from, um, or deny, block, push away? Um, and you know, often those look like the emotions, uh, it looks like fear, um, anger, it can look like sadness, um, it, it can look like, um, it can look like just um, really cruel and cutthroat um, denial, and it also can look like um, just some arbitrary uh, thing, but it always has its root within us um, a as a perceived uh, need or a something that we're uh, seeking to do to protect ourselves. So anyway, the first one is to become aware of what is prompting the desire to avoid or deny. We move on. The second momentum action pathway to avoid further polarization and separation. Begin by developing a deep understanding as you stand in that gap. We talked about it in, in previous weeks or, or previous uh, days of Life Daily with Dawn. We we're talking about standing in that gap and even being present to what is unknown, what you don't know about yourself. Maybe you don't know why you're doing it. You just feel you don't trust somebody or you feel that you um, don't want that certain experience. Do you want to know about it? You don't want it in your life. I have that that a lot more than I do the other. But, um, but anyway, begin to hold a deeper compassion for yourself, for all you don't know about what is within you. And begin to understand that this quick, um, quick rush to judgment or the need to act quickly um, even even when it is um, for uh, you know what you see as the eradication of evil um, or the uh, a step for good, it always leads the quick rush to judgment always leads to further division and to the replication of the very illusion to which you have succumbed in the first place. And so it's actually a big loop. And so the second momentum action pathway is to avoid further polarization and separation by being willing to just stand in the gap. You don't have to be willing to uh, practice a step forward just yet. Um, you just need to stand in the gap and 
un, uh, begin to have compassion for yourself in this situation. Like, I see that I really want to run away and forget that ever existed. Or I see that that person is acting inappropriately and I want to swat them down. Whatever it is. Um, and have a little compassion for yourself. Um, and have compassion for all that is. And just get quiet and get still. But at all... Um, as much as you can, avoid further polarization and separation. So stop the behavior, in other words. The third momentum action pathway is to affirm your connection to the divine, to see the gift of this challenging situation, to acknowledge and honor that gift, and, and to know that it could be, the gift itself could be masked here because, because, we are um, in a situation of essentially desperation at trying to, seeking to change something out there um, or to avoid something out there to protect ourselves. Um, and, and so it, it, it heightens everything. And so when that happens, we miss the gift that is there. And so just first, uh, the first thing to do here is to affirm your own connection to the divine. I am a child of God. And to see yourself in that light and then to know that you are connected now to that because you're sourced from within, remember? And so you're connected to that flow of life, to God, if you choose to use that word, um, and begin to rest in this truth. The fourth momentum action pathway is to see that the outer situation often reflects the inner situation in some way. And so begin to consider whether you're the evil that you see out there, the injustice or the unconscious choice of others could possibly be a reflection of some inner condition. Now, this is one that many people, myself included, resist. And yet more and more I see how there is always some connection, even if it's not a direct correlation. Um, you know, I see this person as a murderer of evil. Well, I'm not a murderer or evil. However, the fear that is within me or the anger that is within me um, or the discomfort, dis-ease that is within me is rippling out because what I see is resonant with something else. It could be a deep-seated memory. It could be something that happened once upon a time in your life. Maybe not the murder or situation, but you get that was just an example. Um, so begin to, to, to be willing to consider that the outer, what you're seeing out there, could reflect an inner condition. And often that inner situation is a gap within you. It is a, a division within you that you may not even be uh, aware of at this point. The fifth momentum action pathway is to practice inner connection, to source the inner life by connecting the beautiful lines that connect one facet of who you are to the other and to begin to really connect in with that flow within you and to reclaim any soul fragments that you yourself may have cast off or denied or rejected um, or alienated. Because again, it is the division that we have created within ourselves that the where we have done this within ourselves, that and then, then it goes outward. So consider how you might reconnect and reclaim um, to your essential truth, but to, to who you are, to the whole of who you are, your whole self and your soul self. The sixth momentum action pathway is to come to the present whole and complete, to embrace whatever's happening in this present that you're feeling a need to, um, to push away or, or to uh, run away from. Be in that situation, whole and complete. So bring your full presence then to that situation to dispel the illusion of separation. Again, it's not requiring any action. It's just a matter of seeing it with different eyes, being present to it. And this is how you free yourself. This is how you free yourself as you choose to come back whole and complete because you have perceived that you can't be whole with whatever's happening. And, and there's some something that's a threat to that, and there's never anything that's a threat to that. Um, you're, it's a choice. So see yourself as whole and complete and come fully to the present and know that you are well and nothing can change, you know, change that um, wholeness. Now, this is not to say, I just want to put a little caveat in here. This is not to say to walk into the middle of a dangerous situation or be in a, in a, in a situation that really is detrimental to um, you. But even if you're doing this from afar, 
come to that situation as a whole individual and see yourself in that light. And the seventh momentum action pathway, practice compassion. See that both inner connectivity and interconnectivity are the wellspring of deep compassion, which means that, you know, what does compassion mean? To experience passion with, to come into life with another situation, another person, another um, opportunity. So allow love to remove that veil that veil of illusion that is between you and this person, place, thing. Um, and and also, when that veil is lifted, you will see that um, this idea that you had of good and evil and right and wrong and dark and light was a little limited. And, and that's where we are in our world right now. That's our opportunity is to realize that all of that is held in one and to rise um, above the division. Um, that we have felt a need to perpetuate in our world, in our lives. The eighth momentum action pathway is to find your joy, to shine your light, to celebrate your truth, to rejoice in the opportunity to begin again and allow your inextinguishable light of love, the one that's right here within you, and always, oh, it's an eternal flame of life, to allow that to join with other lights and they're beautiful and varied lights and enjoy a whole new way of freeing yourself and the world around you when you begin to live in this way. So notice that there is not a requirement that you take the opposite action. This is a mistake many, uh, I believe many um, who speak about this make. It's not okay, and then you're going to rush out and hug the person and, 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 you know, be in the center of the situation and there's no boundaries and, and you know, you're just practicing love and light, <laughs> um, you know, with, but really then what does that turn into? A denial of yourself. So this is a return rather to the wholeness that you are. And by standing in that gap, being aware of what it is you're perceiving without the need to create further division and polarization. Stop playing that game, in other words. <laughs> so let me repeat the eight momentum action pathways uh, for the interconnectivity map system to connect to your essential truth. These are pathways to come together. They are pathways to connect within to the hope of humanity so that we might begin to weave a world of wonder. One is become awareness, become aware of what's prompting the desire to avoid or deny. Number two, avoid further polarization and separation by standing in the gap. Three, affirm your connection to the divine and return to that again and again. Four, see that the outer often reflects the inner. Five, practice inner connection, which we talked about yesterday in the inner connection map system. And revisit that if you need to. Six, come to the present, whatever the situation is, whole and complete, and see yourself as whole and complete and realize you're still whole and complete, right? All right, and then seventh momentum action pathways to practice compassion. Um, and again, this means to passion, come passion, passion with, come into a state of life with whatever you see as opposite or a threat or evil or. Um, wrong. Um, practice compassion, come into life with. So this doesn't have to look like going um, and standing in the presence of that person and, and existing in some state that you think is compassion. It can instead be a, a higher octave of a connection in terms of the life you share, the light and life and love, the one light, the one life, the one love we all share. So practice compassion however you can do that in this situation. And the eighth momentum action pathway is to find your joy. So I hope you've enjoyed those um, momentum action pathways that are a part of the interconnectivity map, syst map system. And um, tomorrow we are going to be talking about um, a really big one for me personally that has been the key, and that is the wholeness map system. So I will see you then. Thank you.